Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here and welcome to another episode of Challenge Jimmy. Today's image was sent to me by Naufal and his challenge is that he struggled to mask in various firework exposures. So he captured different fireworks on different exposures. And you can see where he's slowly been trying to mask in the fireworks. You can see around here and he's pointed them out to me here and here. Now I've got great news for you. If you shot multiple firework scenes, you don't need to mask them in. This would take a really long time. We can blend multiple fireworks in just a few seconds, literally a few seconds, with a great blend mode, which I love. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So that's our first challenge. And next, as a little bonus, I'm going to clean up this area here. Now I have the original raw files to work with. So basically, I'm just going to try and bring down these highlights a little bit, just so they're not so distracting. And in the final image, we won't have so much of the blurry color around the sign either. Now here's just a quick warning. When you're shooting images like this and you've got a lot of fireworks going on, sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming. If you put too much in the scene, then it's difficult for the viewer to know where to look. So in my personal opinion, which you are free to disagree with, I think less is more in this situation. But nevertheless, I'm going to blend in the exposures just to show you how we can do it very, very easily. So I'm going to take the raw files into Adobe Camera Raw first. Okay, these are the three exposures that we're going to be working with in this tutorial. And you can see, if I just brighten them up slightly, I'll select all and just bring the exposure up a bit so you can see them. All of them are shot with different compositions. Although these two are the same actually. But this one is shot at a different composition. So we have to work around that a little bit, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Now I'm going to use this exposure as the base exposure. Then I'm going to blend in this exposure and this exposure too. So for these exposures, I'm just going to bring the exposure level down to zero again. And I'm going to do the same with that. We only need to brighten up this exposure since this is going to be our base exposure. I'm going to bring the highlights down just a little bit because we want to brighten up the image, but we don't want to blow out the highlights too much. And that's very strong. And I'm going to bring the highlights down a little bit more. Now I'm going to add just a slightly cooler temperature to the image. And I'm going to select all three exposures. And just for good measure, I'm going to enable lens profile corrections and remove chromatic aberrations. But before bringing the exposures into Photoshop, just like we've seen before, I'm going to open them up as smart objects. So I'm going to hold down shift and you can see here it changes to smart objects and I'm going to bring them into Photoshop as smart objects. Okay. Now we have our three exposures in Photoshop. Now I'm going to right click on the base exposure and choose new smart object via copy. I'm going to do this because I'm going to make a separate layer, which is going to control these highlights somewhat. So I'm just going to double click on the thumbnail and bring up Adobe Camera Raw. And then I'm going to set that to default and just bring the exposure down a little bit and the highlights down a little bit too. Now these raw files don't contain enough information for us to really restore the signs completely. If we bring the highlights all the way down, we can see that. So I'm going to leave it just a little bit bright and press OK. With this exposure, I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on a Mac and create a black layer mask. Now I'm going to make some luminosity masks in Raya Pro. If you don't have any luminosity mask actions, there's a link in the description of this video to a tutorial that'll teach you to create your own luminosity masks, or you can download my free easy panel. So I'm just going to create the bright luminosity masks and go to our channels palette and we can see our bright luminosity masks and brights too gives us a rough selection of this sign and some of the glow around the sign too. So I'm going to make a selection of brights too by holding down control and left clicking or command and left clicking on the thumbnail or for Raya Pro users, we just press brights too. Now I'm going to hide the marching ants, choose the black layer of this darker exposure and a white paintbrush and I'm just going to paint over this sign like this. And if it's too strong, we just need to reduce the opacity a little bit. 
And the whole point in this is to try and take away some of the attention from this sign because it's just far too bright and far too distracting. Okay, so there's the before and after, that's much better. Now to blend these two exposures, all we need to do is I'm going to select this exposure and I'm going to change the blend mode of it to lighten. And there's before and after. See how quickly we've blended the fireworks? And I'm going to drag this exposure and put this here, somewhere in the middle. And maybe a little bit higher. And I'm going to create a black layer mask again. And I'm just going to paint in this firework here. So there's no other distracting elements. And now I'm going to do exactly the same for this exposure. I'm just going to change the blend mode to lighten again. And now we have the fireworks from this exposure too. So I'm going to create another black layer mask and just paint in the firework from here. And if you're wondering exactly what Lighten is doing, it's basically comparing two layers, pixel by pixel, and it's keeping the brightest pixel between those two layers. So since the fireworks are the brightest pixels in these areas, that's what's remaining. And that's how quickly we can blend fireworks. It's very easy. Once that's done, all we need to do is our usual workflow. So whatever you like to do, you can bring up the contrast or create a nice vignette or play with the colors any way you like. But let me give you one more tip before we finish. If you don't mind post-processing, then the best way to shoot fireworks to create a nice clean scene is to get to a location before the fireworks start, of course, and shoot a base exposure or shoot some base exposures. And they should be free from fireworks. So essentially this image would be completely free from fireworks and these highlights up here would be nicely exposed for. We'd shoot brackets and then we take all of those brackets into Photoshop and we blend them together to create a nice natural scene. Then afterwards, once we have a balanced scene, we can blend in the fireworks and that's a much easier and cleaner way to do it. And that's it for today's Challenge Jimmy. If you want to take part in Challenge Jimmy, all you need to do is send me an email to challengejimmymac at gmail.com. And that's Mac spelt M-C, not M-A-C. And just send me a JPEG of your image and tell me what you found difficult about processing that image. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.